came up with this sanitizer sling because I was tired of the bottle taking up so much room in my purse. It is very handy hanging in the holster, especially when shopping or eating out. It's made with 100% cotton, so it's easily washable and very durable. What you need for this is 100% cotton, size 4 yarn. I'm using peaches and cream. You will also need a size F 3.75 millimeter hook, a stitch marker and bead, three ounce bottle of hand sanitizer, and a swivel clip. You could use either a one and a half inch or a one inch swivel clip. I got these from Hobby Lobby. You'll just need one of those, and you'll also need one snap. These are size four. To begin, you will need to chain 12. Now you're going to slip stitch into the first chain to create a ring. Chain one, put 20 single crochet inside that ring. This project is worked in the continuous round, so you're going to need a stitch marker. Before we go any further, you're going to want to grab your 3 ounce bottle of hand sanitizer and make sure that it fits snugly. You don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be loose either, so just try it on for size. Grab your stitch marker because we're going to need it in this next round. Place two single crochet in that first stitch. Now grab your stitch marker and mark your very first stitch so that you know where the round begins and ends. Now we're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. In the next two stitches, we're going to increase. So put two single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Here we are at the last stitch. We're going to increase and put two single crochet in the last stitch. At this point, you should have 24 single crochet. For the next round, we're going to be working in the back loops only. Remove your stitch marker and place two single crochet in that first stitch in the back loop only. Grab your stitch marker and place it in the first stitch you just created. Continue working in the back loops only, and we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches.
In the next two stitches, we're going to increase again. So put two single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to single crochet in the next 10 stitches in the back loop only. In the last stitch, you're going to increase one last time. Place two single crochet in the last stitch. For the next round, we're going to be working through both loops again. There will be no increases in round four. In the last round, you should have 28 single crochet. So working through both loops again, you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. Make sure that you mark the first stitch of each round. At the end of this round, you should have 28 single crochet. Before we go any further, we're going to try the bottle on for size and make sure that our sling fits the bottle just right. This is how it should look. So now you're just going to continue putting one single crochet in each stitch around until it measures the length of your bottle. For me, that was 19 rounds. So you're just going to repeat round four until you have a total of 19 rounds, and you should still only have 28 single crochet. So I'm going to meet you at the end when I've got 19 rounds completed. Here my sanitizer sling has 19 rounds, and I'm ready to add my swivel clasp. We were working in the round, of course, but now we are going to be working in the row. So take your sanitizer out of your sling and remove your stitch marker. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. Chain one and turn, grab your swivel clasp, place it on your hook, slip stitch through the clasp. Move your clasp to the right out of your way. Place your hook in the very first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Place your clasp in between your hook and your working yarn, going through it, single crochet. Put your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, going through the clasp, 
yarn over, draw through both loops on your hook. We are going to do that seven times. So we are essentially placing seven single crochet inside the swivel clasp loop. Once you have seven single crochet inside your swivel clasp, you're going to chain one and turn. Now we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch across. So you should have seven single crochet at the end of this row. This is how it should look. Now you're going to chain one and turn and place one single crochet in each stitch across. We are going to be completing 12 rows, including the first row where we added our clasp in total. So just continue making rows until you have about 12 rows. And I will meet you at the end of row 12. So here I have 12 rows total. When you place your sanitizer inside your sling, your flap should go about a third of the way down. Now we're going to make it come to a point. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. Over the last two stitches, you're going to single crochet two together. Chain one and turn. Single crochet two together over the first two stitches. Single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet two together over the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. We should have three stitches left. We're actually going to single crochet three together at this point. Now we're going to fasten off and weave in that tail. Now it's time to add our tassel. Cut a piece of yarn that's about eight inches long and going from back to front at the very bottom point of your flap, you're going to use the Lark's Knot and attach it as if you would a fringe on a blanket. Now we're going to add our wooden bead. Take your yarn needle and thread both ends of your fringe onto your yarn needle and then put your wooden bead on both ends, sliding it to the top of the point. Now I'm going to make my tassel tails. I just used about three fingers, but if I was going to measure, I think this is about three inches. I only wrapped my fingers about 12 to 15 times. Depends on how thick you want it. Now take the fringe ends and open them.
We're going to place our tassel tails inside that opening. Using your fringe tails, tie tightly to secure several times into a knot. Before cutting your tails of your tassel, I recommend putting your bottle back inside your sling so that you know about how long you want them to be. So for me, I'm going to cut my tassel tails so that they rest at the very bottom. I also recommend putting a dab of hot glue right there to keep the tassel tails together. Now we're going to add our snap. You're going to put the male side on the flap near the point. And then you're going to put the female side about midway. You're definitely going to want to decide where to sew it on with the bottle inside your sling. Your boho sanitizer sling is complete. I also wanted to mention that if you don't have snaps or a swivel clasp, my written pattern also includes a version that doesn't require either one of those items. It looks like this one here on the left. It's just a tassel closure. So if you're limited on supplies, this is a great alternative. I also have a pattern for Bath & Body Works mini pocket bags, lip balm cozies, and essential oil roller cozies. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.